Hello, and welcome to the Sabre Interactive 2021 Showcase. My name is Tim Willits, Chief Creative Officer at Sabre. We are excited today to bring you some new world premiere game announcements, along with a bunch of updates and reveals on some of our upcoming titles for next year. You may know Sabre from our development work over the past 20 years, and for some of our recent hits like World War Z and SnowRunner, or our history of bringing games like The Witcher 3 to Switch. We've been growing a lot in the last year since joining the Embracer family, and we are now proud to boast 19 development studios around the world. Studios such as 4A, makers of the Metro series, New World Interactive, the studio behind Insurgency Sandstorm, Aspire Media, who rocked the world earlier this year with the announcement of their Knights of the Old Republic remake, and many more great studios. As a publisher, we have been growing quickly, and today we will share with you what to look forward to from the Sabre label of games in the upcoming year. Last fall, we released World War Z Aftermath, a huge new expansion and evolution of the World War Z zombie shooter series with story episodes set in Rome and the Russian Far East. Next year, we will be releasing native PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X versions. This update will be free for owners of World War Z Aftermath. The update will also include a new game mode called Horde Mode XL. Now, if you like Horde modes, this is truly exciting. We have hundreds of more zombies, more than you've ever seen on the screen before. So look for more information about Horde Mode XL next year. Stay tuned also in the new year for a first look at another of our upcoming horror titles, A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place is being developed by Elagica, an incredible studio in Montreal, and is an original single player story driven game set in the same universe as the movies. You'll need to use your ingenuity and your wits to outlast the relentless Death Angels. You are about to see three world premiere game announcements with reveal trailers. Now these three games represent the various tastes of Sabre, so they're not just horror games. We have two racing games that are worlds apart and something completely different. A game set in an alternate history, steampunk Victorian London. But first, we have a special treat for our Evil Dead fans who are looking forward to our upcoming groovy horror action title, Evil Dead, The Game. Last week, I had a chance to have a very special chat with my good friend, The Game Awards' own Jeff Keighley, and the horror icon himself, Bruce Campbell, who is reprising his role as every generation of Ash Williams in The Evil Dead, The Game. Check out that chat, followed by all our game reveals and announcements now. All right, this is something special. I'm joined now by Tim Willits from Sabre and the one and only Bruce Campbell. Bruce, uh, it is so exciting that Evil Dead is back as a video game. We got to uh, world premiere this last year at the Game Awards, and now it's awesome to be sharing more news uh, with fans. But I, I got to ask you, and, and believe me, I, I loved you were even narrating some of the videos we saw this year about this game. You are all in. Uh, I'm curious, like, what made you want to come back for, for Evil Dead in this form? Because it's about the only form I can come back in. Uh, I, I hung up my jersey as Ash hung up the chainsaw because I can't physically do that crap anymore. You know, uh, I'm like an old stunt guy. My voice is fine, though. You know, my voice is what gives me away these days. I'm in a restaurant, blah, blah, blah. Some guy will go, hey, I heard your voice. Does, they don't recognize me, but they recognize my <laughs> voice. So uh, I figured let's, let's stay involved in this game. I, I love the Evil Dead movies that got me into the film business. So game on. Game on is right. Uh, Tim, I know Sabre has expanded doing more things and more studios. This was a, a project that was, was close to your heart and certainly, I think, inspired some of the work you, you did back in the day at id, right? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, we've been big fans of the franchise and these movies for years. And, uh, you know, when, when Ash held that shotgun in the earlier movies, that was an inspiration for, uh, for a lot of the games that I've done in the last uh, 30 years. Bruce? When they first pitched you on this, what was that like? How did you find out about this project? Uh, well, I'm one of the producers of the movies, so I'm, I'm in on the, the drill. Uh, we knew it was time for another game. We had done three other games, Evil Dead games, years ago. 
they were kind of much more rudimentary, but they got better. And then now we can swim with the sharks. We can run with the big dogs. Yeah, Tim, uh, for people that, that haven't heard an update in a while, how's development going on the game? Development's going well. You know, we are in the home stretch. You know, what's, what's really exciting about this game is, you know, it has so many different aspects to it. You got your asymmetrical PvP, you can play with your friends, and we even have a couple side missions where you can play by yourself. So we're adding a lot of content. You know, we really think that we can deliver kind of that full featured Evil Dead experience to, to our fans that love the franchise. So we're, we're really excited about it. And we'll talk more specifics uh, soon as well. I think the the end result is going to be it's worth the wait. That's that's my goal, is that A, it was worth the wait. B, it was worth it to play it, period. Bruce, I know one of the cool things in this game is that there are four different ashes uh, yeah. in there from uh, <laughs> yeah. four different eras. Which one would you main? Which, uh, which, which character do you think people should play with? Oh, I would do the old guy. He's got all the experience. <laughs> a young guy doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. But that's the cool thing about the game. You can play other characters. You can play Possessed Ash. So it, it really is whatever your mood is when you play. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you went into the VO booth, did you have to do all, all these versions of Ash? Oh, of course. You know, that's the nightmare of doing voices for games. You have to allow for some guy who's going to stand at a window and go click, 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 click. It's like get away from the window. There's nothing there. And the characters get killed 47 different ways. You have to do every death. So, yeah, it's the roots of a tree. You know, when you watch a video game, it's a lot of work. Tim, when you guys were scoping out this game, and what was most important for you to make sure that was was in this? So the most important thing for us was to really to get that, that action. You know, the, the Evil Dead movies are about the gory kills and the finishing moves. And you know I love my finishing moves. Uh, so, um, you know, really kind of delivering that impact. One thing to add about the different ashes, when you pick your ash, he'll fall into a different category of class. You have your leader, which is the old ash, your warriors, your hunters, and your support. So based on the ash that you pick, you will, you will have a different uh, basic kind of class where you can help your, uh, your team win. Let's talk about some of the other characters. Uh, what can we expect, Bruce, uh, from, from the Evil Dead uh, canon? Uh, is pretty much everything in there? Uh, there's a lot, man. Let me tell you. You know, we went back to some of the original Evil Dead cast members to get their voice in on it. Because the, the hardcore, true blue folks, if they hear that it's the real Scotty and the real Cheryl, it just gives the game that much more street cred. Instead of some guy who's trying to sound like somebody else, it always sounds bogus. Yeah, that's how much we love our fans is that, you know, you go that extra mile for them so that they'll shut up. Yeah, no, it seems, seems very authentic. And as you said, Tim, the action, I mean, when I first saw this trailer, uh, it felt very modern, very up to date. And given, you know, your lineage, Tim, of doing some amazing, you know, action games inspired by Evil Dead, it's great to kind of go back to the, uh, the core of it. And the, you know, multiplayer is obviously going to be a big part of it as well. Um, speaking of multiplayer, Bruce, I understand your son is a Twitch streamer. Is that right? Yeah, Andy Campbell. He, uh, you know, I tell him I don't understand what he does, but I don't have to. Because he's a gamer, he knows what's going on. Uh, hopefully we're going to set up some tutorials with the old man. I mean, I don't know anything. So this is going to be, it'll be a real test of his skills. Uh, he's excited to play it as well. So hopefully, finally, I can kick my son's ass at something. I was going to say, new, new, new Twitch content playing uh, Evil Dead. But that's part of the fun now is that, you know, games are really taking over the world. Um, and for someone like you, Bruce, that, you know, has, has done some game stuff, you continue to do awesome film stuff. You got your new film, Black Friday. I'm curious, like, when you look at the gaming space, even through the eyes of your son, are you excited about kind of the opportunity there? Uh, yeah, because it's a real game. You know, uh, we did games before, but I, I just don't think they were they were mainstream ready. And and these really are. The atmospheres are incredible. Night, day, rain, snow. You know, for a horror movie, the tone is important. The environment is important. The atmosphere. A lot of people did his mood. And they've done a good job at capturing it. Tricky thing, taking a movie, putting it into a video game, but it's a pretty good fit, and I think it works well. Yeah, no, uh, the guys at Sabre have done an awesome job. Every time I see it, I get more and more excited to actually jump in and play it. Uh, Tim, before we go, uh, I mean, what's it been like for you guys to work with Bruce? I mean, this you, you kind of can't do this game without Bruce, right? 
Uh, yes, yes. You know, this, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, to, to work with Bruce. And this also, just to repeat what he said too, the other cast members have been great. You know, getting the real cast members in the booth and the personalities and the passion that they brought to helping us and working with us has been fantastic. So I will echo what Bruce says. The fans will love everyone that we brought back for this. It's going to be exciting. Well, the fans are never satisfied. That's the first thing you have to start with. You'll get up to about 80% satisfaction. If you if you include absolutely everything and go completely over the top, you can get to about 82%. So that's <laughs> kind of what we're hoping for is that satisfaction. But I, I do think fans will realize that we we do think about them and we do factor them in. Yeah, no, as you said, 80% uh, in this day and age of the internet is pretty damn good. <laughs> and it looks yeah. like, as you said, a... An awesome game uh, with Saber. Uh, you know, it feels very up to date, modern, and sort of the gameplay and the graphics and style, but such a classic franchise. And I love that it's got your official seal of approval and you coming back to play all four Ashes. So uh, we cannot wait to, to jump in next year to uh, Evil Dead the game. Thanks, guys. Good. Play like the wind. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment you've all been waiting for! The grand reopening of the Circus Electrique. This gifted group await their first glorious night performing under the big top. At least, it was supposed to be. Now, they fight for their lives, for a madness has suddenly enslaved the city, not letting go and it will take unique talents like theirs to free it. Tonight, they join me, cleaning up the streets. Electric! Tomorrow, some stay behind to entertain. The show must go on, after all. Together, 
With the help of everyone, we'll find a way to end this chaos against any challenge. The Circus Electric will step right up. You just saw world premiere trailers and announcements for three new upcoming titles coming from Sabre in 2022. Dakar Desert Rally is a legendary annual off-road endurance racing event and is shaping up to be the biggest open world rally racing game ever made. Developed by our talented and passionate Sabre Portal Studio. It's got rally cars, bikes, trucks, SSVs, all the authentic vehicles and teams racing through giant sandstorms, desert dunes, and mountains. And we've got racing modes for hardcore sim fans all the way down to fans of arcade racers. Look for more information about Dakar Desert Rally early next year. Red Out 2 takes the racing genre to literally new heights. In development at our 34 Big Things studio, it's the next generation sequel to the acclaimed anti-gravity racer Red Out. If you're a fan of the classics like Wipeout and F-Zero, then this is the game you've been waiting for. The reveal trailer shows just a glimpse at its speed and style, and we look forward to sharing more with you soon. Circus Electric is a very special and unique game. You may know Zen Studios from their amazing pinball games, including this year's hit Star Wars Pinball VR release, but they've also got quite a knack for RPGs, and this is their biggest RPG yet. Set in an alternate Victorian era steampunk London, where unknown forces are turning ordinary citizens into rampaging madmen, our hero, Amelia, and a colorful cast of circus performers from the Circus Electrique need to get to the bottom of this mystery and save the city when the game launches next year. And we hope you enjoyed our chat with Bruce Campbell and Jeff Keeley, all about Evil Dead the game. We know you are excited to see and hear more about the game, so get ready because early next year, we are going to release the next video in our gameplay series all about playing as the evil Kundarian Demon. What we've just showcased for you are the games coming from Sabre Publishing next year. Now we have more to announce soon, but we're not quite ready, so stay tuned. Oh, and if you saw the Game Awards last night, then you saw another world premiere announcement and reveal trailer that we're extremely proud of. Developed by our very talented Sabre St. Petersburg Studio and published by our friends at Focus Entertainment, Space Marine 2. It's an absolutely action-packed next generation experience from the cult classic Space Marine franchise set in the Games Workshop Warhammer 40,000 universe. You play as the original Space Marine, eight foot tall superhumans who never back down and never take cover. You'll slice through your enemies using your chainsword or you'll tear them apart with your arsenal of over the top powerful weapons. Check out the reveal trailer. And thank you for watching. Look for more information on all our upcoming games from Sabre in 2022. Thank you. Come on! This is first platoon! We've lost the square! We can't hold it! 